what have you found to be the most important benefits that, that your the company has realized from being members? You know, networking is probably the most important okay. benefit we've found. Uh, but other than that, most architects and engineers tend to think that they know enough about the business themselves. They know enough, enough about terracotta or masonry or flashings or below grade waterproofing. And most of them have this attitude that you can't learn enough from the contractors because we're always teaching the contractors, right? Mm -hmm. That's wrong. We can really learn a lot from the contractors. That's one of the main benefits that I get from SWRI. I come to these meetings, I realize there's a lot of people with good experiences. They may not be the architects or engineers, although there are a lot of them here, but they all have really good experiences that I can learn from. I, from Every one of the talks or presentations that I have attended, I've learned something new. Okay. So, I mean, I think historically, the organization has provided access to decision makers in, in the contracting companies okay. that allows you to, to shortcut the sales process or to demonstrate through your involvement and the sharing of your wisdom and, and uh, knowledge about your industry with the decision makers that that you know, are making the choices for the materials that the companies Well, also using. as a contractor, I feel more comfortable knowing the leaders of the company, exactly. the manufacturing company, and get a direct eyeball-to-eyeball -eyeball relationship with you gives me more confidence in your project. Stepped away from the conference itself, and you stepped away from the institute itself, and then you came back. What was your feelings as far as why you felt you had to come back to the institute? Now that I'm older, I I came back to the organization because I think it's so important for all of us to share together. These are people that you network with that have these same experiences, the ones that you question yourself, that you worry every day. You know, all of us, it, it, sometimes you have trouble sleeping because you're worried about what's going on in the jobs, etc. But these are people that you can talk to, that you're networking with that have that same experience. And so the Chicago thing, listen, it, yeah, maybe that's a little worse than what happens to most folks, but uh, time heals all, right? And now I think it's so important for all of us to share and to give back to the group because we're here to raise standards, right? If I did something wrong, let me fix it. And I'm doing great projects. And then you come to a conference like this and you see other guys doing stuff that you go, wow. And every one of these that I come to, I take away something. And that's the beauty of it, isn't it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's a love fest. <laughs> Fantastic tool to meet people, to establish businesses, to establish relationships, to learn. Mm -hmm. Learning has been fantastic with all of the presentations, the people that I meet, the relationships. I think that the biggest thing with SWRI that I've seen is definitely the technical information. Um, the expertise is, it seems like the best of the best. And it's been phenomenal to learn from everybody that's either been in the business for a long time or even just starting out and bringing everything to the table. I mean, especially being a woman in the industry, you know, it's, it's a bit intimidating uh -huh. because you're walking into an entire group of guys. <laughs> But they've been more than welcoming, and everybody's been great. And like I said, I mean, I learn every time I come there's something new or somebody new that I meet. Even one of my closest customers I met here that is in my town, and I didn't even know. You didn't even know. Right. Possible information from friends in other markets, uh, advice from people, getting the confidence to try things, advice on how to do things. Uh, we had to completely transform our business in 2000 from a waterproofing subcontractor to a general restoration contractor because of the way the market turned and the input I got from people that I met through this institute that helped me through that process was just uh, yeah, it was phenomenal. Uh, as you know, um, the people in this institute become some of your best friends. Right. You know, we vacation together. We look forward to getting together with each other and it's uh, and I think you appreciate it more as you get older you know the relationships and the, the things that you have in your business uh, become more and more important to you right. you know I got to tell you who I owe a lot of that to is Lester Hensley okay Lester first recruited me in SWRI onto the program planning committee okay. and I just thought to myself I don't know if I have much to offer and he said Trust me, you'll be fine. Mm -hmm. You can do a presentation. You'll, I said, I'm not much of a public speaker. He said, 
you just get up there, these are a bunch of your peers. These are people who do the same thing as mm -hmm. you do. Just talk to them like they're your peers. Mm -hmm. And he came and he spent time with me, helped me through the presentation, uh, gave me the confidence to step up and do it. And the first time I did that was in Boston some years ago. And I remember working and reworking my presentation. I was very nervous. I got up there and I thought to myself, just talk to these people because they're your peers. They're your friends. Right. And it, it completely changed my perspective on speaking in front of a group. Wow. Having a, a, an ear to talk to as somebody that's not a competitor, um, you'd never come across them, different type of environment, you know, large corporation, small corporation. Um, you get to bounce a lot of different business ideas off of people. How do you handle hiring of, hiring of new personnel? How do you handle your receivables? You know, do you outsource your payroll? All those kind of things that you're not going to find in your local, your competitors aren't going to tell you that. Um, we uh, Meeting uh, Pat Gorman in particular, uh -huh. I, uh, we went to his house even before I came into the Institute. Um, I was supposed to run a marathon in San Antonio and I ran into some knee issues and the trip was already booked and it was one of those situations he had always told my parents, uh, they'd known each other through the organization, if you're ever in town, come see us and we were in town and went and, went and saw him and stayed out at the ranch and spent the weekend with him and just saw his passion for sealants and I'd never experienced somebody that was that passionate about an aspect of, of, of construction like right that. Yeah.